It's new product time. Okay, first up. Go, go, go. One of the products. most anticipated products of the year. Nine volt. <laughs> it's a nine dun, volt battery. Dun, dun. It's a nine volt battery. It's a nine volt battery. But yeah. you know what? People were asking us to carry nine volts because we have some stuff that uses nine volt batteries in yeah. the store. And um, they're like, well, we want to be able to get, you know, like we, we want to place one order and get the battery with it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, fine. So we now carry these nice Duracell batteries. Uh, John Janier took like the nicest photo of it, a uh, nine volt possible. There was a, That's a photo, not a rendering. In, in, yeah, in Google Plus, there is this giant uh, discussion about the batteries and the photo, and it just turned into this thing. There are more conversations about this than like other stuff. This is a lovely photo, though. Yeah. And it's a lovely battery. Yeah. That's okay, uh, next up. Issue my cable. My crazy my cable. Yeah, I'll show this on the overhead. Although um, the photos are also very good, showing the ends. So they have a big HDMI connector, standard HDMI on the left, and then a micro HDMI on the right. Um, and this is used for some phones and cameras and stuff, which have a micro HDMI connector. Also, the BeagleBone, which has HDMI, uses a micro HDMI connector. So let me just show on the overhead. I will show what the micro HDMI connector looks like and how you plug it in. Sure. Just to prove it. So this is a, a new BeagleBone. Shh, not everyone has one, but we do. Because we're special. I don't know. No, because he gave us one. Um, to make sure all of our accessories will work with it. And um, this is, it looks like a USB connector, but it's actually not. It's a HDMI connector. And then you just plug this in. It's actually a pretty nice solid connection. It feels a little bit like a, like a mini B-Jack, but it's nice and solid. And then on the other end, you get HDMI. So yeah. we will make sure that this works with all our HDMI stuff. We just got these cables in. Okay. That's it. Next up. This is the... Modella. Yeah, this is the um, Model A version of the Pibo case. Yeah. And um, the Model A will be coming out soon in the U.S. I think they're, uh, they're, they're sort of getting sold. But yeah. now there's a case for it. And we've got the cases. We don't have the Model A yet. We will. Um, it'll be, you know, limited limited edition um, because uh, there's not <laughs> there's not a lot of pies it seems yeah so do you right. want to go to the overhead or? yeah I'm trying to adjust this uh, lighting just a tad so I can because I want to show this in detail okay. but um, really beautiful case once again yeah let me show the details because it's, it's kind of interesting that they, they did some different stuff with this case um, this case is actually mounted on the VESA I put the VESA mount on the bottom so I'll talk about that shortly but it's it's actually quite short, and what's nice is that like the GPIO cables can plug in right on top. Um, it's got slots for the camera, and it's got a little camera symbol, which is really cute. Um, there's only one USB port. There's like this magic blue smoke pop. I guess if you plug in or like somehow really mess up the power, um, you get a magic blue smoke pop. Um, and what's really nice is on the bottom they made the uh, the case compatible with our um, low profile SD yeah. card adapter. So this case absolutely definitely works with our low profile SD card adapter um, for those who want a uh, lower profile SD. Um, yeah, it's only like six layers. And then the bottom layer, uh, do you want to quickly skip ahead and then we'll, yeah. we'll come uh, back. The so bottom layer is the Visa adapter. Yeah, so we can go to this one. This one and the previous one. Yeah. yeah. So this allows you to attach your Pibo case, any Pibo case, to a uh, VESA compatible monitor, either a 75 millimeter or 100 millimeter spacing. Uh, this monitor only has like two mounting holes, so it's only mounted in two places, but you know, most monitors have four, so you can attach it there and then you can run a cable or, you know, it's really nice, kind of cute, good for if you're making a media center or something. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward. What I really think is, is cool about it is you just replace it only a couple bucks and you replace the bottom plate of your Pivo. So it's very easy. Okay, and uh, next up. Embed app board. Yeah. Go embed app board. Um, embed app board, I did not have time to upload a demo app, but I will show off everything that is on the demo app board. Um, so embeds are really cool. One of the cool things about them is they have a lot of pins. They have ethernet capability and they have USB capability, but that, that capability isn't brought out in the, um, in the embed itself. So what this board does is it kind of brings out like the best of the best of what is available um, for the embed uh, out to like all these pins. So you can do like audio and you know graphical LCD and Ethernet and 
USB. And because the, um, I'm trying to think, it's the LPC uh, 1769, I believe it has like 64K of flash. So you can actually do quite a bit with it. It's quite, it's quite a powerful processor. Do you want to show me the overhead and I'll point yeah, out all the little things? Let's point out all the little things. Okay, so uh, this is. Wanna have it, uh, Hello. Refocus. I'm trying. Focus, damn you. Yeah, bring it closer to the camera. There you go. There you go. Sometimes you have to put my hand in front because yeah. it's uh, confused. So this is an Ethernet jack with magnetics. This is a USB host jack. It's upright style. Um, this is like an XB socket. Um, and Is there Wi-Fi in there too? There's no Wi-Fi, just Ethernet. Okay. Are you sure? Because it says a little... You can put it on there, right? Where? Where you can put the uh, the XB. There's a, a thing on the back. You can you can put a Wi-Fi yeah. XB compatible here called the RN XB, which um, is kind of like the Bane uh, Wi-Fi, but you, it, it does sort of kind of work. Uh, there's an RGB LCD. I think these are two servo ports, if I recall. Yeah, these are two server ports, but you can use general PWM. There's a temperature sensor. Um, there is a USB device. There's audio in, audio out, a buzzer, uh, a DC in, so you can use a like a um, five volt. Uh, it's a small DC connector, not a, a 2.1 millimeter. It's a like a 1.4. Um, and then a little graphical 128 by 32 pixel monochrome LCD, and a little um, four-way joystick with, I think it has select as well. And then, yeah, on the bottom, there's this really nice diagram of all the stuff you can do. Accelerometer, temperature, um, XB or Wi-Fi, joystick, analog in, analog out, LCD, um, PWM, DC in. Yeah, it kind of has everything. I mean, this is everything you kind of ever want. So, yeah, and you just plug in your um, embed like this, like so. And what's another nice thing is they did is they put in the pins double style, so there, it's a double header, so you can still connect to the pins with like a jumper wire or something. Yeah. If you want. Let's see, need to focus. Yeah, so you can sort of see it. Anyways, if that's all. Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm a little conflicted about these type of boards. I'll tell you why. I have an opinion about this. You have an opinion. I have an opinion about this. Okay. So. It's a really neat board, but one of the things that, I, and I'm, it's, I'm glad it's out now, but it's one of those boards that I remember right before the Arduino came out, these, the chip companies, because this is from ARM, would make these dev boards with like a lot of stuff on it. And yeah, but for, they were huge. This is compact. No, this is compact. I like um, this, actually. But um, um, beginners get intimidated by these. Yeah. Because it has, it has so much stuff on it. It kind of does everything. Yeah. So that's the only thing, and this is my question for you. This is my, well, my, my opinion is... Um, I think that unless there is a, a, an easy way to go from simple to hard with this stuff, um, those big dev boards, those days are over. I actually think it's more about like kind of simpler boards. Yeah. Um, this is a, I, I like this one a little bit more because um, you could start out with uh, an embed and kind of grow up with doing more stuff with it mm -hmm. later. But um, for, so my question to you is, who, who would want, what type of customer, what type of person is going to use something that has all of this on it? Well, I don't think it, they're going to use all of it, but um, it's a pretty good value. So, you know, Ethernet is a really common thing, yeah. and an RGB LED is always, always really handy. And then um, the joystick is good for input. So it kind of has a little bit of everything. What, yeah. what I, drove me crazy about a lot of dev boards is they were, like, enormous, and they had... Yeah, they were, like, they had like a PC. 16, they had, like, 16 LEDs and, like, yeah. joysticks. Those are the ones, just to be clear, I like this. I don't like the crazy ones that these chip companies used to make because they did yeah. absolutely everything. I they think, were, like, thousands one, of dollars. This one is, it is a little bit expensive. Um, it's, like, $60 and, and with, a, with an, an embed, so it's, like, $100 plus. Dollars. So it is, it's not... It's a low cost uh, breakout, but I think you get a lot for it. I mean, the, adding the Ethernet and the LCD and like a buzzer and the XB socket. I mean, you get this and this will kind of take you really far. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm kind of into it. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautifully designed dev board. I usually mm. do not carry dev boards. I know. This one's I, set nice you, I set you up for this. I mean, basically, because we don't carry everything. We could. Adafruit yeah. has like 1,300 products. We don't carry everything. We only carry it's stuff, stuff that you, Lady Ada, personally choose to put in. And we don't have these giant dev board platforms that does everything. 
that it w was designed by a committee. Oh no, we should have a piezo. Yeah, like oh, I no. had, like I have an STK 500 from like I got like a decade yeah. ago, but like I never used it for anything but like programming chips. And then I was like, ah, you know what? I just use a USB teeny and a breadboard. Yeah. So um, an arm uh, or an embed and the uh, application board. Um, think it's like all together 100 bucks. It's like 110, I think. Yeah, not bad. But with it the discount is, code, it is very, yeah, it's simple, <laughs> but it, it is very powerful, and I, I do like the thing. The, the thing I like about it is it's small, but it does include just about everything. Yeah. Um, and that I think does, does make it worth yeah. it to me. But it doesn't, like, it doesn't have like six, seven segment displays. Yeah, I don't and like, like, I don't like four potentiometers. There's just like one. There's just one of everything, and yeah. that I think is actually kind of nice. And then it's it's nice about it is it's it it um it extends all the usable functionality like sometimes dev boards are showing off stuff that you'd like never use like they're like oh yeah. this has a built-in like like can bus you know driver so we're gonna add like can bus connectors like well yeah. not every project needs that and actually it's, it's not that often that yeah. hobbyist projects use all these things so they actually focused on stuff that hobbyists tend to use yeah like lcds ethernet wi-fi yeah okay well that's good because if someone would ask why, why are you carrying this dev board lady in it and not the other ones. Yeah. Now I, I can now I can send them a link to the time code in this thing. <laughs> um, next up, uh, that is it. Oh, is it? okay. Yep. New product. Yeah, it was a little short. New product. Next week is exciting. Yeah. But this week is a little. That's bit, new products. It's a over. little bit chill.